Hey guys, Happy New Year. This video is for really anyone who gives a crap about the state of my collection. Uh, as you guys know, collecting Hot Wheels could be a slippery slope. It could be hard to find space to store these two to three inch model cars. Um, anywho, so this video also serves as a, as a purging. If I come across a car that I don't really resonate with, then uh, it's probably a good sign that I let it go. And uh, get rid of it, donate it, so I don't know. Here's the first one. Got the Shelby from Gone in 60 Seconds. It's even got Eleanor on the badge back there. Eleanor is, I think, the name that Nicolas Cage gave this car or something. He really romanticized it. Has it on the license plates, Lin 274. Opening doors. Door jams, detailed door jams, detailed door interior, uh, side mirrors. <laughs> the trunk doesn't open, the hood opens. But for 164 scale, that's not that bad. I got it off eBay. Rubber tires, no base. Came with this guy. It was five bucks with two dollars shipping. Uh, the seller said that this car is from the Shelby Museum, uh, wherever that is, and that this is a car that the museum sold to tourists. Um, bounces nicely. Uh, plastic tires. But this one I can beat up a lot more. This one's way more detailed. The engine's not bad for a 164 scale. It's multiple parts. I'm really impressed. Anywho, we like them both. Next car is this Corvette. Got it at Walmart. Uh, I thought it was cool because of the red interior and black dash. So I'm like, hey, that, that adds another more depth to the build. But these days, I don't really like the stance of it. The roll, of, the roll on this car sucks. For some reason, a lot of a lot of uh, Johnny Lightnings, their roll is just garbage. But anywho, so. Might be getting rid of this guy, as detailed as it is. Yeah. Next is this car. Got this for $3.99 on a Black Friday sale on Amazon. I really resonated with it because it's got a really wide body kit. I wish I could show you the side. I'm going to open it soon enough. But, um, yeah, it's got Spectra Flame paint, so it's like a really pearlescent red. Candy red almost, you could say. And then I like how the decal, the decals go everywhere. They go on the roof, they go on the fenders, they go on the doors, they go on the everywhere. Just everything has a really nice flame decal on it. So I'll open that soon enough. I don't know. Next car is the bullet. I don't know who Steve McQueen is. Not even a clue. But I really like the green on this car. It's like, oh, it's, it's got the best sparkle ever. Gray wheels, chrome trim around the wheels. Details. Black uh, trunk trim. Oh, I just love looking at that fastback. <laughs> you can barely see a thing. Um, the character, he's a little creepy. His eyes are wide open. But the car, can't wait to open it. Even comes with a box to store the car in. So, uh, can't wait to open it. I don't know. Next is this. It's the same car, same year. It's just like a barn find. I think that's the concept they were going for. For some reason, this one doesn't have the black trim on the trunk. Uh, you can hear my dogs back there. That's my border collie. I also have a Doberman. You may hear them play with each other here and there. But yeah, I really like the green on this car too. Matt, looks like you just found it in a barn. I can't wait to open it, but it'll look sick. Got rust. Next is this wagon. I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of it. Almost dead certain. Uh, when I saw it, I'm like, oh cool, I don't have any wagons in my collection. Maybe I'll make this one my first. 
truth is, I guess I just don't resonate with Volvos. I've never had one in the family. I've never had one in the family. Oh, that was my dog. And, um, I also got it because it's an error. It's missing the yellow stripes that are seen here. And I even Googled it to make sure it was an error. It indeed is. So, maybe that'll look better on the market. eBay. But, yeah. Next is this Bugatti. <laughs> I really... Oh, I want to let you know something, man. I'm going to open all of these. I just have them in a case because... Or in their package because... I don't know. I kind of want to make like a unboxing extravaganza for myself. But I thought that everything about this car was gorgeous. So, Bugatti Chiron. I got this car for $4.50 with free shipping off eBay off of uh, an auction. You know, ultimately that just comes down to me being lucky and getting uh, on a posting that no one was really on. Uh, I wasn't dying to get it. It's not something I really craved for, but I thought the detail was amazing. And that price, I mean, you couldn't go wrong. I mean, it's it's got detailing by the fenders. You know, it's uh, they made this Type R a little wider than the base model. And I found that every detail on this car is spot on. There's not a smidge of paint out of line. Uh, man. So, Mini GT. I'm going to look into them. It's my first of uh, that brand. But it was flawlessly executed, if you ask me. You could not have gotten better. Rear windshield. Uh, beautiful blue paint. Reminds me of the blue of my brother's previous RSX. Acura. Yeah. Can't wait to open it. It's got a good looking stance, too. <clears throat> Next is this Mustang. I'm a huge fan of Mustangs. It's got those cheese grater taillights. Red interior, white paint, white trim. Opening hood. I don't know. It's it's gorgeous. I don't like the stance. It's I think it's too high off the ground. Maybe it's the packaging that suspends it, but yeah, I really I really fell for this one. Next is this treasure hunt, a super treasure hunt. I really like this car because for some reason it reminded me of mine. Uh, I own a ruby colored hatchback with a roof rack. And I even have that a wind fairing on my roof rack. So he's got a roof rack and it looks like those are the, the, uh, the bike. They're for bikes, you know, because they're vertical. The vertical bars that go like that. That's for bikes. And so, I'm like, he's got the wind fairing and the bike racks like me. Kind of reminds me of my car. Only this car is stupid fat. It's got some nice looking diffuser in the back. I don't know what kind of car this was meant to imitate. Maybe it's just pure fantasy. But deep dish wheels really wide you can see the original lines of whatever car this was and then sticking out of that is the wide body I just thought that the lines on it were beautiful look how big the arches over the wheel is yeah and for a fantasy car it's got a good looking paint job and when I do open it I'm going to keep the card because I really like looking at that roof rack but this roof rack didn't paint this is one I'm going to get rid of I already know it it's a Corvette you know when I picked it up I'm like damn this is a gorgeous forest green Corvette it's got an intense sparkle to it 
And it's got those stripes that everyone puts on their cars. Everyone's putting that stripe on, oh no, over the fender by the hood. And it's got tail lights, and they're perfectly placed. Uh, I don't even know why I'm selling it, but I just don't really bond with it. Gorgeous packaging. There's a dollar at Walmart. And, well, it's going in the sell pile. Next is this wagon. You know what? I lied. I guess I did have a wagon in my collection. And so, next uh, up is this wagon. Got it because my dad owned a Buick. And so whenever I see Buick stamped somewhere, I really take a good look at it. And I like the stance. And so, it's got a roof rack. I really like roof racks. That's that. Next is the, uh, yeah, I like Mustangs. 67 Ford Mustang. Uh, featured in the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Uh, it's also got a gorgeous screen to it. And, um, I am going to open it. I don't, it's, it's inevitable. I don't want to just stare at it in its card. But I thought it was done nicely. And what's going to suck is when I open it, I don't want this blister to tear away any of the graphic art that's on this card. Because this card is so minimal. I mean, it's, it's so minimalistic. Uh, it's got the infamous 350Z that one of the villains drives in Tokyo Drift. And I really want to keep the card. I mean, it's... It's, it looks gorgeous. And so I might take a switchblade and just cut around like that. And just keep the card. I mean, it looks like, it looks literally, if you just ignore the card was there, it looks like a DVD cover. So, yeah, I got this at a yard sale for two bucks. I was really happy when I found it. Uh, the guy knew it was worth more, but he was just like, I'm just trying to get rid of it. So, gave him two bucks for it. I don't know. I didn't think that was that bad. <clears throat> also got this at the yard sale. It's the Supra. I actually own one of these already. But I really liked the art on this one. Same, same story. You ignore the car. That looks like a DVD cover, straight up. And so, I am going to probably approach it the same way. And just take a switchblade. And then keep the car. And then keep the card too. It's just beautiful packaging. I also gave him two bucks for it. I thought it was great. Um, you know, really resonated with me. I grew up on Fast and Furious. Next car is another Mustang. No, it needs no explanation. It's just a highly detailed Mustang. It was custom Mustang, so modified in whatever sense. It was a splitter and side skirt. Maybe it's, they stretch the fenders because it looks a little wide. But I thought it was gorgeous. Got it at Walmart. Next is this car from Fast and Furious, uh, also Tokyo Drift, uh, it's the Monte Carlo that Sean drives in the beginning when he races the Viper. I liked it because it looked kind of rugged, it looked like a project car. It's got a different colored panel there, different colored hood. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Got this also at Walmart. No explanation. Just a clean stanced 
69 Chevelle. Uh, I don't like that gap at the bumper. But what are you going to do, huh? Maybe I'll find another one and then just return this one. But look how low this car sits. It's so low. I love the stance on it. Gorgeous paint. Yeah. Mm. I was pretty lucky to find this guy. I've never owned a bus, a Volkswagen bus before. But I like it. Two tone paint, big logo, detailed headlights, detailed tail lights. Uh, a funny thing, the doors open on it, but only on the other side. It's got like dual panel opening doors. See through roof. They're, those are the doors that open, they're on hinges. But it has two doors that open on the other side. And uh, yeah. It is going to get open. Like I said, they're all going to get open. And to keep it protected, uh, it's pretty cool that I got a little box for it when I shove it in a shoe box with the others. <clears throat> I just love the stance on this one too. That's what made me resonate with me with it. Reson that's what made me resonate with it. I mean, it just sits so low. And I like the rugged look of it. It looks like someone's project car. Like as if they're uh, they're working on painting it soon. It almost looks like this guy, but one's a 69, one's a 70. Clean stance. Next is this guy. Uh, same deal. I got it at, at, the, at a yard sale where I got the other Fast and Furious cars. Two bucks. Uh, red interior. I just love the art of that era. You know, uh, where this corny stuff, this cheesy stuff, was really done nicely for the movie. Uh, in today's era, the car scene, uh, no one can execute this as nicely. But yeah, I'm also going to do the same thing. I really want just a card because of how minimalistic it looks. I think it's gorgeous. It's a little different than this one. But yeah. Next is this Polaris slingshot. I liked it a lot because it looks like a baller's car. I don't know. I know these things are like, you can find for like 18 grand used. So you don't have to be too big of a baller to ride in one. But I thought it looked like an exotic little car. So yeah, I'm going to keep it. Almost looks like a transformer or something to me. But I thought it, Matchbox did a great job on it. found this at Hobby Lobby. I had a 50% coupon, so this only came out to three, no, four bucks. Maybe four and some change after tax. Um, but it reminded me a lot of LAPD Crown Victorias. And I've, I've always been on a hunt for a LAPD Crown Victoria. And when I saw this one, I'm like, I cannot pass up on this. I knew I'd obsess over it later. But it's even got the smash bar. And I mean how often do you come across a Crown Vic police with all this detail? So it doesn't say LAPD like where I'm from, you know, that's why I'd resonate with it more because I'm from Los Angeles County. But I think it's executed wonderfully. And it really fills that that want that I that I had in my mind. It has like orange dots on the taillights for some reason. On the headlights, I mean. But gorgeous. I think it'll it'll look good when it pulls over the Supra. <clears throat> uh, 
also got this at the yard sale with the other Fast and Furious cars. But I liked it a lot because it reminded me of like LA also. Of uh, dudes who would lower their trucks and do crazy stuff to it. Speakers in the back, amps. Stick shift is a different color. Uh, it's blown. Got a blown engine. Real gangster esque. Uh, I'd say Chicano culture. So, um, it really re it really resonated with me. Looks like a low rider truck. And no decals, so it looks real plain. Really my style. I think I'd put like a little mini homie figurine next to it. Next is this charger. You know what? I got this after I got the orange Supra because then I had a huge craving that I wanted a car and that I wanted Dom's charger next to the Supra. Only thing is the Hot Wheels Dom chargers go for a lot. I got this guy for like seven fifty on Amazon, and so I'm thinking I can either pay like twenty bucks for Dom's charger or seven fifty for real detailed one sixty four scaled. And it's also got the blown engine, just how I wanted. And so I went with green light. I'm gonna open it up also. I think it looked great next to the Supra. Dom's charger. I don't know. My interpretation of one. I also got this at the yard sale. I was just staring at it, and the guy's like, you want it? I'll toss it in. And I'm like, sure, I don't know. I can't say no to that. Um, it's got opening doors. I can tell. That's why I was staring at it for so long in my hands. I'm like, is the doors open? And the guy noticed I was staring at it for a while, and he's like, you can have it. And I'm like, okay. Uh, relatively simple Japanese lettering, I imagine. But, yeah, it reminded me of a Trueno from Initial D for some reason. I know the dimensions aren't the same, but still, I liked it a lot. And opening doors, can't wait to test those out when I open it. This guy also got at the dude's yard sale. He's like, I want eight for it. And I said, I'll give you six. And then we shook on it. Um, was that a good deal? Yeah, I think so. I looked it up on eBay later. And these guys go for like 15 and up. Or like 12 and up. So. But I like the brown on it. Really complements the pink pinstriping around the flame. Steel deep dish rims. I mean, I think it's just gangster. I really resonated it resonated with it because you know I like lowrider culture. It's slammed. I'm gonna open it as harsh as that may be. It's a super treasure hunt, but yes, she is gonna get opened. Also got this at the yard sale for two bucks. Um, low rider truck. I thought it was clean, simple. It's not a real model of anything. Kind of looks like a Chevy. Like someone slammed a Chevy. But the model is called Steel Flame. Plastic base. But I like the arches. They're not uniform, they're really aggressive and aerodynamic. And it's slammed, this thing slammed to the ground. But it didn't look too toony or fantasy. Uh, it looks like someone's legit lowrider truck build. So, like I said, I like that lowrider culture. Adding it to my collection happily. It's got decos everywhere on the trunk, on the Trunk lid, sides, front to back, hood. I think it was done beautifully. Look how slammed that is. 
One sec, let me grab more. Sorry for the delay. I found this at Walmart and my dad owned a Buick. I think he even owned a Riviera. So, it reminded me of my dad's own car, the car he used to own. But his was blue and his was not a convertible. But the trim was done very nicely if you ask me. Gorgeous red paint. And opening doors. I really love a car that I can interact with. So, I think it, it'll look good next to my lowriders. It's not slammed, but I think it'll fit the era. I like it. Next is this Buick. I also got this uh, when I bought the Charger. Just because I'm like, I want another Fast and Furious car. I want the Buick that was used to steal, uh, I mean to heist Dom out of that jail bus. The, and so, I looked for a Buick, Fast and Furious Buick with real riders, with rubber tires. They're like 25 bucks. This was only like 750 also. So I'm like, you know what, rubber tires for the Buick, black, just how I wanted, but this one's even got an open hood, mean, mean taillights, I like it a lot, I think it'll also look good next to my lowriders, got a nice little Chicano scene going on, oh yeah, and it's even got the Buick logo emblem on the hubcaps, not on the hubcaps, on the center caps, that's insane, got vents, <laughs> like those vents, but they're painted on there, um, gorgeous, gorgeous, Amazon, next is this Subaru, I really like when Hot Wheels does a nice looking hatchback, I own a hatchback, I own a form focus hatchback, and so when I see hatchbacks, I'm like, hey, I'd like some representation in the Hot Wheel game. Highly detailed. STI Subaru. I don't really remember this car in the movie. But it's got fog lights. It's got every detail that I would want. The carbon on it isn't that bad. Really creatively done. Has a good sheen to it for the carbon hood. Uh, beautiful paint, so, side markers, so I said, why not, when I saw it at Walmart, I said, I could always use another hatch, so, she is going to get opened, but I don't really care about the card art, one sec, next, Walmart started introducing these not too long ago. Um, you know, I don't, I don't own this kind of uh, gear GTR in my collection, and it had opening doors, so I figured why not. Plus, it has its own box I can keep in when I do open it and toss it in a shoe box. It's got the details that I like, so I forgot the price, but I think it was five bucks or under, even. So. Yeah, I'm welcoming it to my collection. This one, I mean, my jaw dropped when I found it at Walmart. A 62 Impala convertible? Yeah, Walmart was carrying it. I thought that was insane. I didn't even know that this model existed. But, um... Yeah, an Impala? I used to own, like, a bigger die-cast model of this. And black and everything. And I would uh, put my homies in it. My little homie figurines. And they would sit in all the seats. And they would be posted by this car. Uh, I can't wait to open it. That was sick. I guess I got there before anyone else. Because I know that anyone in their right mind who collects... Diecast models could surely appreciate this. 
Yeah. Nice. One sixty four scale. Uh, I also picked this one up because I thought it really reminded me of like, um, you know, I, I like that, uh, gangster-esque culture, and this looks like a big baller's Cadillac with like donk rims, those rims are huge, uh, and I was okay with the paint, just because when you have a donk build, with big wheels, those donk wheels are usually uh, matched with a crazy paint job up top. So, really appropriate scheme, I thought. And then I could tuck a car in here. So, I thought that that's a good looking trailer. Got matching rims. I think the wheels on the Escalade are even bigger than the wheels on the trailer. And uh, I didn't think the trailer was too wacky. It has a really nice graphic. It's not too out there. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be a great welcome addition to my collection. And I might set it up next to the Lowriders also. I think it fits there. I don't know. I was pretty hyped when I found this in stores. Buick. I like Buicks. Dia de, la Muer Dia de los Muertos theme. Skull wheels. I've never seen that done before. I think once, for like a Halloween collection once. But yeah, it's got decals everywhere. I could, I could really vibe with the Chicano representation going on here. I like it a lot. also found this at Hobby Lobby when I had a 50% coupon. Um, I think it was wonderfully done. It's Monte Carlo. I've always liked looking at Monte Carlos. The SS. I don't know what I'm going to do with that prop. But this thing looks clean. It looks mean. I think I'm also going to sit it next to my lowriders. Uh, I want to buy, like, a barbecue pump. No, 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 I'm sorry. A barbecue prop. Like, a charcoal barbecue prop. And put that next to my lowrider scene that I want to prop up. Um, yeah. One sec. Next cars, they're in bags, but I just want to show you what I've added. I think this bag has a theme. Yeah, I think it's all like uh, Chicano stuff, like Lowriders and the American Muscle. So this car, I think, would also look good next to the scene I want to get building. Just because it's brown, you know, brown pride. It's got a wonderful stance to it. By Hot Wheels. Got a uh, Montezuma. I think it's a T top. Uh, some kind of convertible. Hot Wheels convertible, low rider, Hot Wheels Impala low rider. This guy, of course, is going to go in the lowrider scene. It's by Maso. These two are going to go in my lowrider scene. No, wait. I think they'll be next to him. But they're both Hot Wheels. And they really remind me of... This one's from the Fast and Furious premium line. This one reminds me of a Yanko. From the Fast and Furious 2 movie. That race with Brian. You know, he raced him for pinks and he won the Yanko. It's a Camaro. So, I think it looks fitting with this guy.
need to find a better way to store these just because I'm afraid of their paints getting real messed up. I mean, I don't rattle them too hard, but I really want to preserve their paints just because I appreciate whatever they got going on. I think you've seen these. My dog got a Buick from Maisto. Slammed. Got a... Uh, Another Buick here. There's some kind of track car. What's this? Oh yeah, slammed Nissan Titan. It's gonna go with my lowriders move down. Oh yeah, this guy. This car I thought was clean. Oh, it's so tight. That's what she said. And with that, I hope I didn't scratch any paint. But it's, uh, what is this again? 1987 Chevy F1500. I thought it was clean. Rubber tires, white walls. It's got a clean stance to it. I'm thinking I can tuck a lowrider in here. Let me open this. Now I'm thinking I can tuck a lowrider in there and haul it around. Only thing I don't like, that logo. They put like a sparkle paint to it too. High sparkle. I like it a lot. But, I don't like that logo too much. But besides that, very clean. Oh yeah, and there's a lid that goes with the truck. But it always falls off. It goes on the bed. But I like cars I can interact with. You can take the lid off. It's a level of interaction. Got more donks. Oh, <laughs> motorcycle with the Avengers art, but it's clean. It's a sick paint job. I could really appreciate a mean paint job. And so, that's my Chicano lowrider scene theme that I want to get put together. I'm thinking that they'll go good with these Hot Wheels. I mean, with these out with these homies, you know, when I left uh, LA, I took a handful of homies with me that I really wanted, that I thought would, I would resonate with the most. Lowrider bike. Got the wrapping homie. Of course, this guy. Mexican flag. Too many, too many ill ones. Little dog. Too many ill ones. This guy's uh, pressing like a low rider switch. Yeah, working out. Man, I love the smell of these. Honestly, they smell like paint. This one's funny. Illegal alien. Here's some trucks. But I don't think anyone really cares about trucks. Uh, I got this red one because it has a control arm that can load this brown box. Uh, I was fantasizing about having my Fast and Furious cars surround this, be propped around it, and have the intention of stealing this cargo. Because I can take it out, but these come off, these side rails. So, uh, you know, take the side rails off, have a heist happen where a member of the Fast and Furious crew jumps on here. And steals the cargo. And this arm does let go of the box. It's a matchbox truck. 
what else is here? Police. Let's see, what else is here? Oh, I like I like this truck. Instead of a you know factory bed, it's a more rugged steel bed, like a flat bed. And I thought it was very nicely lifted, and it looked mean. And it looked like it could be a part of the Fast and Furious crew with the heist. It's got a chain in the back, a chainsaw, stuff bag. I thought it was mean. Let's see what else I got. For stuff that I care to show. There's a scene I want to get going that has a bunch of Hummers. I want a bunch of Hummers guarding something. I don't know yet. Those are matchboxes from the Jurassic Park lineup. That's America theme. Uh, it's from Fast and Furious. This car would get under other cars and flip them. show this Punisher van because I think it also ties in with my infatuation with Fast and Furious because I mean, it's insanely detailed I mean it's got an intelligence re reconnaissance operation going on inside doors are open and back here you have a gun that can come out and it swivels whichever which way I think it's a gun and then up here you've also got a Gatling mini gun and I think this is like a satellite up top it's, it turns and then a very nice uh, smash bar. It's got studs to it. Can really make damage on whatever it bumps into. Rubber tires. But I was thinking in my setup, this would be guarding whatever the Fast and Furious crew want to rob. This car I really like because it, you can interact with. Like I said, I really like cars that you can interact with. So, metal on metal. Engines. This car I like because it's got a steel finish with clear coat. And but it looked mean. It's by Matchbox. Looks tough. Impala, or yeah, I think it's a Caprice or an Impala. I got this at an antique store for like 50 cents. Police car. It's got an El Camino. I liked it because. It looked very, very uh, appropriate. The wheels weren't wonky. They were the same size wheels. Nice looking bag. Lamborghini Police. I like this truck. It's like a 4x4. Four four. It's got a jerry can. Oh my. 
I mean, it's just, it's just so, so rugged to look at. My throws. Let's see what else I got. These are my Euro cards. Golf. You know, hatchbacks. I like hatchbacks. Mercedes. Rubber tires. My matchbox. Uh, some exotics from Hot Wheels. Got the Zonda, Lamborghini, another Lamborghini. This Lambo was a dollar, and it was a convertible, and it had headlights and taillights. I thought, how could I go wrong? So, I had to jump on it for a dollar. Acura NSX. I think that's a Viper, but the Viper has opening doors. By this brand called Majorette. Had decent detailing too. I got it at a Toys R Us clearance sale when they were closing. I'd never heard of this brand until I went there. So I got a killer deal on it. Like, jeez, I was so excited. I got like a ton of them for a low price because they were closing. BMW 850i, opening doors, a nice looking Porsche, I keep this guy by himself because I want to protect the paint, it's a 4GT. Here's a bunch of the same car, except for one. This guy's a little different, it's a Mercedes track car. But I thought that they looked like mobster cars, so I'm going to keep them together and make a scene or something. What else do I got? Oh yeah, I got this at the yard sale for a quarter. And this is actually a treasure hunt. Not super, but treasure hunt nonetheless. And it's a 300C matte paint up top. Like candy green on the bottom. Tail lights, logo, emblem. Door jams. They're not perfect, but it's still. Trim, side markers. Headlights, fog lights, grill. For twenty-five cents, I think it it will look next great next to my green Cadillac. Maybe this will go in the truck. But I thought it was great two tone for twenty-five cents. Can't go wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are also going to be yard sale. 25 cents each. But I've always wanted this truck for a long time. So glad I found it. Looks like a... Got me said, yeah. Oh, wow. I never read this truck. But it's clean. It'll easily fit with my lowriders, no doubt. A little dusty. But... But I keep it single. So I'm trying to preserve the paint. 25 cents for this guy, too. Beautiful trim. Pinstriping. I'm really going to go well with my lowriders, also. 
this guy. I got off the Toys R Us clearance sale. Plastic headlights. I really appreciate the depth that plastic headlights add. Opening doors. And the stance ain't that bad either. I guess it's a Hellcat. Dodge Challenger SR. Yeah, it's a Hellcat. Wow. So, I like it a lot. I got this for free with. I won't open it. It's got an opening trunk. I got it for free with the Shelby cars. Um, the reason is because I bought the Shelby cars and then the dude didn't ship them until like a month later. And he said, sorry, I'm sorry, I put something extra in the box for you to enjoy. So he gave me this. All metal Hot Wheel. I kind of like it. I think it would sit okay with my low riders. I don't know. It's really heavy. and really fat. I got some trucks. Uh, anything that really stands out? Oh yeah, that red one would look sick next to my lowriders also. It's got pinstriping. It's the Chevy COE. The trunk doesn't open. The bed doesn't open like the other one. Find me another Hot Wheels car with woman art like that. It's like a woman in a bikini. If you can find me that, I'm in the market for one. And I've got my tuners. No. Uh, got some Fast and Furious premiums. You know when that drops. Oh yeah, that food truck's funny. It's like, so that's like an NSX it looks like. An Asian guy on it. Asada sushi rolls. So burritos and sushi and all that good stuff. I think it'll look cool with my tuners and with my Chicano rides. Honda Civic. Honda Civic down there. You know. Got an Evo. What else do I got? By far one of the cars I'm most proud of. Oh yeah, I've got three GTRs from the premium Hot Wheels lines. Just because I think uh, they remind me of the Civic. The three black Honda Civics that heist uh, the 18 wheeler trucks. I got three. Because they kind of look like a Civic if you look at them from an angle. Rubber tires, black on black, how could you go wrong? This is like one of my biggest trophies that I own. <sighs> the Skyline Wagon. Beautiful stance. I gotta keep this guy by himself. I don't want to scratch the paint. Mint. Easily. One of my most favorite cars. Top three. Top three without a doubt. Fast and Furious. Uh, what else do I got? I think I'm going to get rid of that police car. Got a Subaru with opening doors that I also got. Uh, if, uh, a closing event at Toys R Us. Got a CRZ. Ah, CRX. I think the CRZ is uh, something else. Got a beautiful ruby colored S2000. 
I don't think I really need that skyline. Got more Fast and Furious whips. Regular and premium. Got a Subi down there. I also got this for 25 cents at the yard sale. It's an Impala. Rubber tires. I had a neighbor who owned this very car. She also sold ice cream out of her ice cream truck, but her husband owned this car. So, I resonate with it. And for 25 cents, can't go wrong. I wish the hood opened. Because it's a green light, you would think that they would give you that luxury. I thought that was a standard for green light cars. But, anywho, I could really appreciate everything else about it. And that's it, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Sorry this video is so long. Anywho, have a good one, and God bless.